We went through an experience several years ago where Chad and the children were out in a field um, just moving the sprinkler pipes, coming back from the dump, taking things, and he was critically electrocuted with 7,800 volts. Mm. And the children, the five youngest, were with him. And when I heard my oldest son yelling, Dad's dead, and Dad's been electrocuted, and as it got closer and closer, it became clear, and I heard it. And as he arrived, he's, he's just said, he's dead. And horrific fear filled my heart. And as I'm running the block and a half down to the field, I am yelling my prayer to yeah. Heavenly Father, don't take him, don't take him, please don't take him. And yet I said, thy will be done, thy will be done, but, but please, <laughs> please don't take him. And when I got there, the little children were um, within a few feet of him and the pipe was just inches from Chad. And he was prone on the ground and I yelled for the children because I wanted them safe to run to the corner and pray for him. And they ran to the corner, the oldest uh, was 10 down to three and he, they just knelt and they prayed and prayed and they stayed in that position. And um, miracle after miracle happened Though he appeared dead to me, um, no sounds of breathing. A gentleman drove by. I waved him down. He came over. He had not been actively participating in the church for many years, but I begged him to give him a blessing. And he was afraid to do it because he didn't know what to say. Hmm. And I, I just told him, you have the priesthood. I have the faith. Just do it. <laughs> and... He, in the middle of this prayer, Chad started sucking in air and breathing. Mm -hmm.